welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it has been a little while since I've had a video up. Um, November was pretty hectic. In fact, did I have any videos up in November? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I should be showing you my November makes and my December plans. Um, that's gone out the window, sorry guys. Um, I've had people staying over in our guest room, which is also my sewing room, so I've had very little access to um, the sewing machine. Um, I have made two of the things I had planned, although I still need to hem them, so I don't want to reveal them yet because they're not fully finished. Um, also, um, I forgot that I'm a celebrity spear. <laughs> on and uh, we're a bit addicted to that in this house and it sort of takes over your evenings for three full weeks um, because it's on every night at exactly the time that I would probably be having a little bit of sewing time so I've um, been watching that instead sorry guys uh, but it's been good fun I've enjoyed it have you guys been enjoying it or do you hate it it's a love hate thing really isn't it anyway so I thought I'd come back today and try and do another video just to get something up, keep things interesting for you um, and I thought I would share with you um, that I've been very naughty. <laughs> um, Black Friday is a um, phenomenon that the UK has uh, recently taken on board um, following in the footsteps of America who have been doing it for years and years and years. It's just a massive big sale. And um, it's really only kicked off in the UK in the last like maybe three or four years. Um, I've never really got into it very much. But for some reason this year, it's just been uh, sucked in basically. I've been sucked in. <laughs> um, and I bought a ton of sewing related things. So I thought, why don't I um, share them with you in a vlog and you can tell me how naughty I've been. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna get right into it and um, show you what I've got. Now, the majority of things I bought were uh, PDF patterns. So I now have enough patterns to do me for the rest of my life probably. So hopefully I won't buy too many more and I, I've got enough sewing to do forever and ever and ever. So anyway, I'm going to kick off with uh, Tilly and the Buttons. And you know, I have never um, sewn a single thing by Tilly. That's not true. I've made some things from her book, Love at First Stitch, which is a really good book if you're learning to sew. Um, and I made a couple of things and they're okay. So far, her styles of patterns haven't overly appealed to me. Um, everyone's got their own individual style and I mean her pattern company is immensely popular and successful so her style definitely um, appeals to a lot of people out there but I mean a lot of the patterns I just haven't really been interested in but um, saying that there were a few that have I've sort of had my eye on for a little while so I, the, um, she had I think it was a 20% off sale for Black Friday and the weekend um, so I went ahead and I bought two in PDF version and one in printed. I would have liked them all in printed to be honest but PDF is cheaper and um, it's more hassle obviously um, but as you'll see two of the things that I've got are are quite minimal pattern pieces so I thought well PDF would be fine for them it's not going to take an awful lot of time to um, print cut and get it all ready uh, whereas the third one I thought I'll treat myself to a printed pattern because I really wanted to see what um, her printed patterns are like because I hadn't seen any before and I heard a lot of really great things about it so the printed pattern I went for is the Orla um, blouse which is a really lovely blouse that has sort of curved, I think they might be called French darts, um, in the bust going down to the waist. Um, you have an option with or without a collar. The collar has a really pretty um, sort of notch design, curvy notch design, sort of a play on the Peter Pan collar, but fancier. And I've never done anything like that before, long sleeves or short sleeves. And the thing I really like about it actually is this curved hem, which on reading up about it, 
is done with a facing and I love curved hems I think they're incredibly flattering um, and they're, they're difficult to sew if you're just turning it up and doing a hem the regular way so I'm really excited to see what it's like to sew it with a facing which I presume would be um, much easier and you get a smoother curve so looking forward to that definitely and it's something if it works out I'm probably going to copy and put onto other um, blouses that I have my eyes on as well because um, I think that would be good as well. It's also got um, darts at the back neckline which I thought was quite nice and a little zip down the back so you can get yourself in and out of it so I'm really looking forward to doing that and um, yeah I really like the paper uh, pattern versions really lovely so yay for that. Now the ones I got in PDF, um, I'm showing them on my um, iPad, hopefully you can see it properly. Uh, I went for the Fifi sewing pattern which is just like a little camisole and shorts, you know, nightwear type thing. I'm probably never going to make the shorts, it's just not going to look good on me. Um, I don't really like the tiny little elastic waistband, I would want nice big thick ones, more like sort of boxer short style I guess, um, which is something I could probably draft myself. Well, I would use like a uh, pyjama bottoms and just make them shorter, that's the style I would much prefer, but I really have always liked the little um, Fifi top, I think it's really really cute and I have some fabric in my stash I know I'm going to use for that, so I'm excited about that one. And then the next one I did, I bought was the classic Agnes um, t-shirt pattern. Now I know I make a lot of plantains um, and I have a few other t-shirt patterns, but everyone has raved about this so much that I just thought I would give it a go. It's more fitted than the plantain, it's got a higher neck line which I like the look of actually, it looks like it's going to be nice. I'm not into ruffled sleeves so that's not going to be a thing. I've got wide shoulders so I don't need to add any more bulk to those guys at all. But I also like there's one a neckline with ruching as well um, which I've never done before so I'm excited to try that. So that's what I um, got from Tilly. Um, I then went to sew over it and got three um, sewing uh, PDF sewing patterns from her. I went for the Pussy Bow blouse which I have been wanting for ages so again I think it was 20% off her patterns. It was just patterns not fabric otherwise I would have gone mental on her. her. I love all the fabrics in their shop. But anyway, I'm, so I'm actually thankful because I just can't afford to buy any more fabric. Um, so yeah, Pussy Bow Blouse, really nice. I'm definitely going to have several fabrics I want to make out of that. Um, I went for, um, this isn't the official photograph, that's just Lisa in it. It's the shift dress that she's done. Again, she's made so many beautiful ones. It just seems like a really classic piece that I could, you know, you could, it's a really great way of showcasing fabric so I'm excited to try that. Quite a simple one so it should be quite a quick make. And again I'm on a bit of a blouse kick at the moment so I went for the Susie blouse, very appropriate. I really like the little collar that's on that little pointed one, v-neck with a collar I think it's quite interesting. Be nice to see what these sleeves are like and yeah I think that will be, I'm really excited on that one too. Um, I don't know whether it's got a curved hem or not but again that's something that if I like Tilly's um, Orla curved hem, I could put it onto that, you know, sort of try and mm, mush it together. We'll see, we'll see. It's a long way down the road. Sorry guys. Um, so that's what I got from Sew Over It. <laughs> so many things. I then bought um, the ginger jeans from Closet Case Files. Yep. Um, everyone's talked about how amazing these jeans patterns are. I know you guys, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I have the Sew Over It Capsule Wardrobe collection, which means I have the Mia jeans pattern. I have fabric in my stash ready to make those. They're definitely on my list. I think I'm probably going to make them in January, fingers crossed. They're a lot simpler in design than the Ginger. Ginger is full on every aspect of jeans is in there. Um, so 
I wanted to ease myself in, although what I'm excited about this is all the so alongs that's on her website. I also bought the ebook from her about sewing jeans, so that goes into a lot of information as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's really good. I'm excited about that one. Let's see. Um, yeah, and then I went a little crazy with Style Arc. I've never tried any of their patterns before, ever. Um, you don't see a lot of it. Excuse me, I burped there. Rude. You don't see a lot of it um, on the internet an awful lot, or not on the blogs that I watch or read. So I'm not really sure what they're going to be like. One of the interesting things is you have to purchase your size or a smaller size bracket and um, so I hope I mean I took my measurements so I, I hopefully that it's correct at least you get three sizes within it so you know that's a little bit of give and I was picking one so I was in the middle size anyway on to which ones I actually picked I picked um, for my first one the Dixie woven top I really like the seaming detail in that and that you can use two different fabrics. I think it'll be quite nice. You can use smaller pieces of fabric as well so you can really um, use a more expensive one if you want to. It's a nice curve at the back as well and again it's a lovely curved neckline or not neckline, hemline. So really like that. Next I've got the Maggie shirt and again this one has got grown on sleeves um, which I am I like and I don't like, you have to have drapey fabric definitely for those to look flattering for me. Again, I think it's because I have the wide shoulders. Um, I really like that you have a little play of different fabric there as well if you like and a little mandarin collar and I really like the placket opening as well and again, lovely curved hem. And then we have the Mila uh, designer dress really really interesting style lines on this. I'm slightly nervous that I'll look pregnant, uh, which I'm not, in this um, dress. Uh, it's sort of cocoon, uh, but I've seen you know cocoon dresses looking really lovely and stylish on people and I just think it's just really interesting and a little bit different. Not sure about these sleeves though, I might have to lengthen them because uh, cap sleeves on me accentuate my arms and I don't like that at all. And then I went for the Nina Waterfall Cardigan. Um, this, I've got my um, self-drafted Waterfall Cardigan on today. I really love it, but um, I like this one has a proper sort of ruched neckline, collary type thing. I like that. And it's quite interesting as well that it's got um, seam lines at, at the back and at the waist. I think having it at the waist will maybe make it quite a nice, um, flattering design for around your waist. So the final three uh, patterns I bought, I told you I bought a lot, were from the Indie Sew so, um, Cyber Monday sale that they had and um, again I think it was 20% and so I bought the Gable Top which is by Jennifer Lauren and um, I really love this slash neckline. Um, I sort of did one of those on my a cat color block t-shirt but I, I did such a rubbish job I was just doing it from my head and I didn't know what I was doing so I thought you know what I'm just gonna get this pattern and I really like the neckline and it'll show me how to do it properly which is good and again it's just a really classic t-shirt pattern I really like it then I got the Helmy um, sewing pattern by Named Clothing really love this this version here that they're showing is the sort of tunic or dress um length really nice detailing and then there's also a blouse that's got like trench coat flaps on it but just really interesting and i really really like it so excited to do that one and finally i got a classic the anari tea dress again from named clothing um, I've seen so many amazing Inari dresses out there that I was just like, I'm going to have to get this. It just looks so fab. It's so simple. There's not even darts in it. It's just got um, a slit or slits on either side here. The seam line, I think, sort of tapers forward, which is an interesting feature. And again, it's um, 
you know, a higher um, hemline at the front than at the back. So those are the interesting details to it. And it's slightly cocooned. I'm scared about that. Guys, tell me I'm not going to look pregnant in a cocoon dress. Anyway, that's what I got pattern-wise. Now I did buy some stuff, some fabric from one shop online, so I'll show that to you now. Okay, so my fabric shopping in Black Friday sale was from Maud's Fabric Finds, and I have never shopped there before, um, but I follow them on Instagram, and I saw her. <laughs> Instagram's so dangerous for Black Friday, because there's so much temptation. It was I had to take myself off Instagram. Not properly but just not look at it um, because I was just sucked into everything anyway I went on to her website and picked up a couple of things she has some really really lovely really unusual fabrics there um, but they were all always a bit pricey for me I'm a bit stingy when it comes to buying fabric um, I like it cheaper who doesn't but anyway really beautiful jerseys quirky unusual patterns love them but just a bit pricey uh, however um in the sale it's not too bad so i got this really cool uh black with white cacti on it and um, that's going to be for like really funky leggings and or a um sweatshirt or something like that for him um, see, I don't just buy stuff for me. I do buy stuff for other people. And that was only half a metre because he's only little. So I don't need a lot, which is brilliant. So that was 5.25 for half a metre. So you know what I mean? It's not that cheap, but it's good quality. So it's organic. So that probably is partly why it's more expensive. And then check these guys out. Look at them. They are fab. This is like a French terry. Uh, which I didn't realise when I was buying it, um, but it is so cute. And again, it's only a half metre. That was £8.40 for half a metre. Holy moly. That was a lot. Excuse the bibbly. Um But anyway, that was a lot. But again, super cute. It's for Luke again. It'll be something snuggly and cosy for him, which is great. Then I bought something for myself. Yay! This is... Um, I think it's called Swoon, and it's really cool, isn't it? It's Atelier, Atelier Brunette. I probably said that terribly. My apologies. Um, which is a really, really lovely um, French fabric designer company. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, really love this pattern design. It's really nice. Slightly annoyed that the white is creamier than I would like. Um, as I think I've said to you before, I don't suit beige, I don't suit cream, I suit crisp white. So that would have been nicer if that was more of a crisp white for me. But I, I mean, it is lovely. And I think it'll be fine. And again, I could probably use one of those patterns that has, you know, a bit of color blocking. I could put black on the top. It's heavier, it's a cotton. It's heavier than, and thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Excuse me, dropped important information. And it was 5.25 per half meter. So again, so that's 10.50 a meter. And I got two meters of that. Um, I do really like it though. So, and I was gonna buy another Atelier uh, Brunette fabric, but I had it in my basket and I didn't check it out fast enough. And when I went to check out, they, they only had like one meter of it left. Um, I didn't want just one meter, I wanted two meters. So I had to take it out of my basket. But as they say, you snooze, you lose. So it's probably better because it saved me some money. And then I bought one more thing and this was a present for my mum. My mum doesn't um, watch this uh, channel, I don't think. She's not told me if she has. If you do, mum, look away. Um, I have bought this for her um, for Christmas. Just because I saw it on the website and I was like, ooh, I wasn't looking for something for her. So this is a big bundle. Look at that, wow, they're so long. Of hand dyed silk ribbons. And my mum does, um, makes designs and makes her own jewellery. Really unusual, beautiful designs with semi precious stones. 
um, and interesting wire working and stuff like that. Be really lovely stuff, she's so talented. And she often uses um, fabrics and ribbons to intertwine in some of the things she does. So I saw this and I thought, oh, that's perfect, really lovely. And this, 22 assorted ribbons, um, silk as well, seven pounds. And I think it said it was reduced down from 31. <sighs> 31 pounds, that, I wouldn't have bought it for 31 pounds, that's too much, but seven pounds, lovely little addition to her. Christmas box, so that's really lovely. I'm really pleased about that. I think she'll really love it, so I'm so happy. So there you go, guys. That is everything I bought, and it's so much stuff. Ah! And I'm just gonna add one more thing to it. This wasn't part of Black Friday, but I did buy it recently, and I'm really actually ticked off at myself because I bought it on, like, a Monday before Black Friday. If I had waited till Black Friday, I would've got 10% off this, but I wasn't even thinking about Black Friday at the time. Anyway, it's what it is and this is it. So I bought some fabric from Fabric Godmother and this is the first time I've ever ordered from her before. Really love her fabrics. Um, I'm always on her website swooning over things and I had my eye on something for a long time which is why I decided to click buy. Just had had enough and I wanted it so that's what it was. So I'll show you what that is first and foremost. Oh, it doesn't look very exciting, does it? It's black, but it's silk, and it's two meters, and it's beautiful black silk. It's really soft and drapey, and um, it was called Mara Silk, and she does have a lot of ex-designer stuff, so I'm wondering if the Mara is Max Mara. I think it probably is, which is quite exciting. Now, it was 14 pounds a meter, so again, not cheap at all, uh, but it is silk, so that's 28 pounds because I've got two meters of that. I'm slightly disappointed in it, to be honest, guys. Um, it is a lot, I didn't order a swatch. That is my my downfall. I, I buy everything online and I, I'm impatient, so I don't buy swatches. Um, and you know, sometimes you, you pay for it. It is really, really, really thin. A lot thinner than I thought it would be, she did say in the description it's suitable for blouses, which made me think that it was thicker than this. Um, I'm planning on making it Ogden Cami, but because I've got two meters, I think I'm going to do, instead of a half lining, I'll do a full lining and then that'll be fine. But my biggest issue is that this will, like sharp things would catch on that and make it run. So I'm really, really scared about sewing with it and then I'm really scared about wearing it and wrecking it because again 28 pounds is not cheap but I've been wanting a black camisole a, like a really good quality so that's why I wanted silk black camisole just as a perfect basic we'll see I'll make it anyway and we'll see how it goes so and then the next thing I bought was this lovely it's actually really so much nicer than I thought when I was buying it um, this is a crepe and it's navy with these lovely um, flowers on it that have um, red, beige and cream but the navy is the predominant colour there so that's why it's okay for me. Um, this is, it's a viscose crepe and I was only able to buy one metre of it. I wanted two metres because I wanted to make a, pro a blouse out of it. Um, they only had one meter left, so I was a bit gutted about that. So it was 15 pounds for one meter. As I said, I know I just said to you that I, I'm stingy with fabric purchasing. So I, I, I also contradict myself a lot. So anyway, um, one meter. It'll probably be an Ogden Cami, but it'll be a lovely one, definitely. And finally, you might have seen this on the interwebs a fair bit because I've seen a few people have bought this and Fabric of Mother is often putting it on her feed and it sucked me in big time. It is this absolutely amazing, stunning, beautiful um, velvet, but it's jersey and it's got this um, really dark and mysterious and luxurious looking floral um, print on it. It's very much like an old master's painting or something or still life. It's really amazing. Um, and I 
in my mind imagined it would be perfect for a um, Christmassy, wintry, um, going out cover up of some sort. So like a cardigan or a jacket, a loose, a, a, a drapey jacket or a kimono. I thought kimono would be gorgeous. And that's what I had in my mind when I was ordering it. Again, I didn't do a swatch, I just bought it. It was 21 pounds a meter. Jeez Louise. God, I can spend money. 42 pounds because I bought two meters off it. But look at the back. It's white. Ah. So the idea of like a drapey, like kimono, kimono or cardigan. I mean, you'll see it. You'll see the white, which I don't think looks so nice. So I'm wondering, do I go ahead with that and maybe like underline or line the kimono just with black probably um, and what do I use um, there's that it would make the most beautiful full-length maxi dress like a slinky maxi dress made with a slit and long sleeves and like a, a high neck or like a really you know like a boat neck type thing but my tummy would not look good in that dress before I had Luke I probably would have made that but now no not so much so um I'm kind of bummed about that. I really would like to make that. And um, so if you have any other ideas or suggestions, this is what I really, really would love you to tell me. What would you make out of this? I've got two meters off it. Does it tell me how wide it is? No. That's how wide it is. That is about, do you guys do this? This is how I do it. That's about a meter, right? Meter. So I would say 150 centimeters. So quite wide, it's quite wide. Um, directional print, obviously, and obviously it's velvet, so there's a name. I am talking way too much. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be the longest vlog ever. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, my camera cuts out whenever I talk for too long. I don't know why. Anyway, please tell me what you think I should make out of this beautiful fabric. I would love all your ideas and suggestions. Um, would really really like to hear what you think about that anyway that's it for today and thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying my uh, vlogs please do subscribe because it means you get a little update whenever um, I upload another video which hopefully won't be too long um, I am sorry that I don't have you know my usual November makes December plans but um, I'm just sort of rolling it on together because I just haven't had the time as I said at the start. Also apologies for my really horrible hair but um, I went and got a fringe cut and it was the most horrific haircut ever so it's a case of pinning it back and making the best of it and it's really horrific right now but hair grows thankfully. Thankfully hair grows. So Anyway, that's it guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Anyway, thank you so much for watching my really, really, really long haul. Long haul. Mm. Okay, start again. Like Friday haul. Um, I hope you maybe got some... Uh, no, blah, blah, blah.